Hey, what's up? I'm Nash, and thank you so much for watching Hollywood. Make me perfect. Dear insecurity, when you gonna take your hands off me? When you ever gonna let me be proud of who I am? Oh, insecurity, when you gonna take your hands off me? When you ever gonna let me be just the way I am? What's up, Hollywire? We're hanging out with Nash. Hey. And you're going on tour? Yeah. Right yeah. now, basically. Basically, yeah. Tomorrow I'm going yeah. home to pack, and then um, and then we're heading out, and uh, it's gonna be a good time. Number one question: Do your cats go on tour with you? And my mom watches them when we go out of town. And, oh, that's nice. um, Yeah, so that's covered. But yeah. I wish they could, and it, it, you know, it's like every day I'm like, I gotta get home. I want to see Hazy and Maisie. But. Yeah. Well, that was amazing. Thank you so much, dear oh, security. Yeah. yeah. That Thanks. was great. It's a beautiful song. I'm it is a very, very thankful for song. it, and uh, thankful for Ben Abraham who sings the chorus normally. Um, yeah, he's an amazing dude. How did this song come to be? Because I know your your style has like changed and progressed over the years. Yeah. It's become very uh, positive. So what what was that shift and that change? Um, I I grew a lot mm -hmm. over the last couple of years, and um, I got uh, I got a, into therapy and um, got kind of set on my own journey of mental health and. Uh, it's been a super awesome and enlightening and progressive experience for me. And Dear Insecurity is the last song that um, I worked on for the record. To me, that song in particular really encapsulated the entire journey really well. And so I knew I needed to have it on my album. So when Ben, ben came in and played me the idea of the chorus, while finishing up all the other songs and production and mixing and all this stuff, that song just every day would get like a little bit closer and then it'd get set three steps back and then like two steps forward and it was always just progressing, progressing. And, I'm super thankful for that song because at times where I feel down, uh, it gives me something to go and listen to. And, um, you know, I hope it helps. Yeah, yeah, no, it's really, really great. Yeah, thank you. So tell me a bit about the album. How did you come up with the name? Yeah, so, Anything that you want to tell me? Yeah, it's called We. Um, and uh, I've had You, Me, and Us as the first three EPs. So e We is the next step in that journey. The most important thing to me about the album We is the idea that uh, if we feel together, then we'll feel better. I just wanted to help. I hope it helps. That's what we means to me. So you were telling me a little bit. You meditate every day. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's super important for me. Yeah. What else? What else do you do and to keep positive? What I do is I just I meditate every day and I really focus on things that I'm thankful for. That's usually a good first step if I'm feeling off um, to realign. And then I set a goal. Um, my overarching goal is that I want to help. I'm sure you get to do a lot of like thinking and stuff on tour. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, and so the first week I'm bringing a, a, a private yoga instructor with us. Um, Which is to, awesome. To do, like, yeah, that. to do like guided meditations with me every day and bring everybody through um, some kind, of, most likely just like restorative for the most part. But um, so yeah, so we're kicking the tour off like that. And uh, and then Zoe will be hanging out for a while and then, and then um, we'll keep practicing and keep exercising and keeping you know, keep the water going, that's a big thing. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about going on tour? So the tour is the only place where music is actually able to be like a physical thing for people. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise we're all just still existing in the digital realm, right? right. So, um, so when I have a tour, I like to think that that maybe is gonna bring somebody in who um, maybe, maybe wants to feel better. And then I come to them and I'm bringing them my best energy and my best excitement and my, and my best positivity in that moment, the best I can that day and hopefully they walk away feeling better than they did when they came in. And uh, that's, that's really all I care about in life. <laughs> so tour is like the ultimate like dojo right. for me to do that. For sure. Yeah. I love it. Thanks. Okay, we are gonna play Holly Words with Nash. Go ahead and spin the wheel. I'm Give very it all excited you to got. spin this wheel. <laughs> oh good, I'll say that with like do it again? 50%. No, we got this. Celeb crush, easy answer, Emma Watson. <laughs> I think she's incredible. I was in an indie band in, in college and uh, my bandmate and I, Sean, we were best friends in high school. We used to hang a photo of her on the DJ booth. Can we do it again? Of course, yeah. Okay, sounds great. Awesome. Boop. Boop. Embarrassing fan moment. Do you know those little like pop dolls with like the big rectangular heads and then the little tiny bodies? Mm -hmm. Someone in Sacramento brought me a doll that was some character from some movie that they made Nash. And I was like, this is so cool. And I put it in my studio. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Hollywood. Thanks for having me. We'll see you next Peace, time. Peace, guys. Bye.